Today we're learning to factorise quadratics, or trinomials as they're sometimes called, with a unitary x squared coefficient. All that means is that uh, the number that's going to be in front of the x squared is a 1 for this video here. What I'll do is uh, I'll create another video and that will be the ones dealing with the more difficult type questions, which is uh, with a, a number that will be in front of the x squared, so the coefficient of x squared being uh, a value that's greater than 1. And they're, they're just a bit more difficult and a another technique that I'll show you to work this one out using the magic number method. Okay, so success for success criteria for, for this session here is that you need to be able to find factors of numbers, um, apply negative number operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing uh, negatives, and gathering the terms into brackets, which is a, a quite a simple t thing to do once we, we get going. Right, first question I've got here is for you to find all the positive factors of these numbers here. It's all the numbers that multiply together to, to make these numbers. Freeze the video, go ahead and try and do that one just now. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do it. Here we go. So the method that I would use to, to work out the factors, I'm always going to be thinking about the numbers that multiply together to get the number. Uh, I'm looking at them in pairs, and the one I start with, uh, first of all, will be 1. So 1 times 5 will make 5. Okay. I then think 2 times something, nope. 3 times, nope. 4 times, nope. 5 times, yep. Yeah, but I've already got 5 there. So there are my factors. So my factors of 5 are going to be 1 and 5 only. 6. Okay. So same type of method. I'm going to start with 1. 1 times 6. 2 times 3. And then 3, well, I don't need to use that because I've already got 3. And if I follow it in that form, I'm always going to get the factors. So that's factors of 6, 1, 2, 3, and 6. 18, same way. 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, 4 won't work, 5 won't work, back to 6 again. So there's all my factors of 18. Factors of 48. So 1 and 48, 2 and 24. 3 and 16. The 3 and 16 is a very common one that you would use in SIRDS work. Uh, 4 and 12. Uh, we've got 5 won't work. We've got 6 and 8. 7 won't work for us. And we're back to 8 again. So there's all the factors of 48. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, 48. And what I'm going to be doing when we're working through this magic number method is using these in pairs as we go forward. Right, let's get on to the, the first question that we're going to do on uh, factorising trinomials, okay? So as you can see, the number in front of x squared is going to be a 1 that's sitting there. I'll draw it in for this first one that's here. So I've done that, and uh, what I'll do is I'll find out my magic number. So the magic number is always going to be multiplying the number at the front times the number that's at the end. So these two terms here that we're going to multiply together. So 1 times 8. Okay, so my magic number is going to be a positive 8, okay? And the more that we do this, we know that the, the magic number in these ones with a, a unitary uh, x squared coefficient is just going to be this number here that's at the end, okay? It's a positive 8. So what I'm looking at is all the factors of 8, so all the numbers that multiply together to get 8, 1 and 8, 2 and 4, that's all the factors that are there. This part here that I'm going to look at is I'm going to try and work out what numbers that I can get here are going to add to make this second term that's here. So I want them to add together to make positive 6. So this way here we're going to add. Up the top here we're multiplying to find the factors, okay? Multiply to get the factors. So the ones that uh, I'm going to use, let's see if I can use the first ones. So if I subtract 1 from 8 or add 1 onto 8, I get 9. And I get 7, so I can't use that one there. If I take 2 away from 4, I get 2. If I add 2 onto 4, then I'm going to get 6. So I'll use this pair here. And the way I'm going to make a positive 6, remember if that's a positive there, both numbers must be positive or they're both negative. In this case here, they're both positives. I'm going to put that straight into a bracket. So that's going to be a, an x at the front. x at the front of that bracket. I'll take the plus 2 into there. Take the plus 4 
into there and that should be me finished with uh, factorising the questions that are here. Okay, so why, why would we really go ahead and factorise anyway? So if I can have a quick look at an app that I've got here on uh, one of my phones. So if I look at Desmos, this one up the top here, I'm going to press that just now. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in the, um, let's see, we're going to go for the x squared. So x squared, I'm going to go for plus 6x. And what we'll do is I'll go for the plus 8. So this is the graph here of this function here. x squared plus 6x plus 8 is this function that's here. What I'm then going to do from, from this one here is one of the reasons why we do factorise is to find the points that cross over the x-axis. Okay, So the way that we actually do that would be to make this equal to 0. Okay, so if I know that that's equal to zero, this thing here times that there is going to be equal to zero. So I can say that x plus two is going to be equal to zero or x plus four equals zero. I'm not going to be teaching this at the moment. This is how to solve um, a trinomial or to solve a quadratic. But I'm just trying to show you why we're actually factorizing. And what I can get there is I get x equals minus two x equals minus 4. So from this graph here, I think we can see here that uh, in the graph, x equals minus 2, x equals minus 4. Okay, I think that's a good app for you to, to download. So it's called Desmos. Um, might be worth uh, having a look at uh, for, for various uh, topics. So factorising is involved in a lot of your um, higher maths work as you go on to that. It'll be involved in the circle topic, in uh, trigonometry, um, and also in uh, differentiation with optimization work. So a key skill to have. What I'll do, what you can do now is you can freeze the video, try the questions, and I'll go forward and uh, do them uh, right away as well. Now some will have negatives in here, negatives in there are both negatives. These are the ones we're going to go on to next. Okay, freeze the video and check your answer. I'm just going to do them pretty quickly, okay? Right, so magic number for this first one here. 1 times 20 is going to be equal to a positive 20. I'm going to think of the factors of 20. 1 and 20, 2, 10, uh, 4 and 5, that's the factors. These ones here I want to gather up to make a plus 9. So I know they're both positive numbers or they're both negatives. That there tells me they're both positives. Can't use that one. Can't use that one. There we go. Into the brackets. X plus 4. X plus 5. Factorised. Next one. Okay. So magic number. 1 times 36. Magic number is positive 36. Think of the factors of 36. 1 and 36. 2 and 18. 3 and 12 will work for us. 4 and 9, yep, and 5 won't work, and then we've got 6 and 6. So there's all the factors there of it. I'm going to think about trying to make up a positive 12 with these numbers. So if I think about 1 and 36, I can only make 35 or 37 out of them. Uh, 17, no sorry, 16 or 20. These ones here, I can make, uh, so 9 or I can make 15. With 4 and 9, I can make... 5 if, or I can make 13, not that one, so there's the factors that I'm going to have to use here, okay, this pairing. So plus 12 would be made up of making that a plus, that a plus, here we go, x plus 6 and x plus 6, so that would be the answer to that one there, or, or what we could do is we could say that's x plus 6 squared, okay, that's the first part completed there of the ones that are both positives, right, go on to the negatives next. Right, first one up the top there. So, same method, going to find the magic number. Magic number is going to be plus 15, okay? Factors of 15, 1 and 15. 3 and 5, and that's the law, okay? I'm then going to try and make up a minus 8 out of these numbers that are here, okay? So, a minus 8, I can't make it up with that there, because 1 away from 15, okay? 
1 away from 15 is going to be 14, 1 on is 16, doesn't make 8, I can make 8 with these numbers here. To make negative 8, I need to have a negative 5 and a negative 3, because these will gather up to make a minus 8. And remember, always think about, you've got to multiply to get these number, this number up the top. So the numbers, if it's a positive number, they're both positives or both negatives, they're both negatives there. So my final answer here is x minus 3, x minus 5. Next one. We'll just go through it really quickly now, okay? So that's going to be magic number of 16. It's a positive 16. So 1 and 16 is the factors, 2 and 8, and 4 and 4. What I'm looking for is to make up negative 10 out of them. Remember, both numbers are positive or both numbers are negatives, okay? So that's a negative, they're both negative. To make minus 10, the only ones that work for me, these two here. So x minus 2, x minus 8. Okay, magic number, I'm sure you've got it. 36, okay. What we'll do is we'll get the factors of 36, 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 6 and 6. Okay, I've got to make up a minus 15 with it. So it's this number here I'm trying to think about. Okay, so the ones that will make a 15, and remember if that's a positive and that's a negative, right? Positive means that um, both numbers are positive, both numbers are negative. That one there tells me that they're both negatives. So it's this pairing here that I'm going to use. Okay, so x minus 3, x minus 12. That's it, factorised. Factorising, just putting it into the brackets. Right then, next one. Okay, so the difference here is we've got a negative sign there and a positive sign there. So, let's work out our magic number. So be careful with this one. So, 1 times minus 10, or negative 10, will give us a magic number equaling minus 10. Okay? Right, so let's look at the factors. And I'm just interested in the factors of 10 at the moment. So, 1 and 10, 2 and 5. Okay, not in minus 10 at the moment. Here we go. What we're going to do in here, we're going to be looking at trying to gather these numbers together, add them to make a positive 3. Okay, can't use that, so that would give me 9 or 11. Okay, I know that if that's a negative up the top, one's a negative, one's a positive. Okay, if that's a plus 3 there, the biggest number's the positive. Okay, if that's a Positive there, the biggest number is the positive, and that should work out for me. Because minus 2 times 5 gives me minus 10, and minus 2 plus 5 gives me a plus 3. So, factorised, we've got x minus 2, x plus 5. Next one, okay? Remember, freeze the video, try them yourself, make sure that you can get this, uh, this going, because very, very key skill to have uh, in maths. Magic number, minus 21. Okay, 21 I'm thinking about now, 1 and 21, 3 and 7 are the factors. Gather them together to collate to make a 4, so it's a positive 4 I'm trying to make. This is the factors that I'm going to use here. 1's a minus, 1's a plus. If that's a positive, the biggest number's the positive. Okay, so x minus 3, x plus 7. I know, that, I know that some folks can see exactly how to do it right away. The magic number method is going to help us when we go on to the more complex questions. Okay? So, magic number for this one, minus 6. Factors are 6. 1 and 6. 2 and 3. I'm then going to look at uh, gathering up to make a positive 5. Positive 5. Right, so remember one's a minus and one's a plus, okay, from this one here. So this one here's a, a, a common question that's asked and it's a wee bit more complicated because you could choose the wrong pairing. So if I choose that pairing there, I can only make uh, either, um, I could make a one or a five really if I was just going to make one, one a minus or, or I'm going to add them together. So I can't really use these though. These won't work for me. If I want to gather terms together and one's a minus, one's a plus. So if I make this one a positive, this one a minus, then that's going to gather together to give me a plus five. It's going to multiply together to give me a minus six. Be careful that we don't choose this pairing that's here. Okay, 
So that's going to be x minus 1 and x plus 6. Right then, so that's almost complete. Just got another set here where we've got both minuses. So I've got a minus here and I've got a minus there. Okay, so magic number is going to be, remember, the 1 times the minus 6. That's going to give us a minus 6 or a negative 6. Okay, factors of 6, 1 and 6, 2 and 3. I'm going to be looking at trying to make a minus 1 out of that. So remember there's a 1 in front of the x, so it's a minus 1 that we're trying to make. Can't make minus 1 out of these, must use these ones here. So 1's a negative, okay, and 1's a positive. If that's a negative, the biggest number's negative, okay, compared to what we've done before. So here we go. So what I've got is I've got x plus 2, and I've got x minus 3. Okay, factorised. Nearly there. So magic number is minus 24. Factors would be 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. That's the factors that we've got. So from here, I'm trying to make negative 5, okay? So a negative 5. So the only pair that's going to help me with that is these two here, because one's a minus and one's a plus, okay? So to make a minus 5, the biggest number must be the minus. And just put them in the brackets. x plus 3 and x minus 8, okay? So they multiply together to get that, gather together to get that there. Right, so the last question before we do the challenge, okay, is magic number. Minus 36, okay? If I gather them together, let's see, sorry, looking at the factors of 36, 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, and we've got 6 and 6. These numbers here have to make a minus 5 from there, okay? So th that's what we're trying to make, the minus 5. 1's a minus and 1's a plus, so... Nope, 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 there we go. There's, once you do them, you can see what's uh, what's working for us. If it's a minus 5, we're making the biggest numbers than minus, okay? And there's a plus that's there. So that should be equal to x plus 4 and x minus 9. Okay, so on the front page, on the front page, we'd said that uh, what our, uh, our learning intention for today was going to be was to work out this question here. So x squared minus 8x minus 4 and we're going to, minus 48 and we're going to try and factorise that. Okay, here we go. Can you try and do that one? Make sure you freeze the video, try and do it, get your answer and make sure that you can master this method and we'll move on to the more difficult trinomials in uh, next video. Right, here we go. So magic number is going to be equal to minus 48. I'm going to think of the factors of 48, 1 and 48. 2 and 24, 3 and 16, we've got 4 and 12, 5 won't work, we've got 6 and 8, and that's us there, okay? What we'll do from there is we're going to try and gather up the numbers to make a minus 8 from there, okay? So the only numbers I can see that's going to do it, these ones here. So biggest number has to be the minus, other one is the positive, because a positive times a, mi positive times a minus gives you a minus, and that will gather up to be minus 8. So, final answer. x plus 4. x minus 12. Okay, so, 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 so basically I hope, hope that this has helped you out using a magic number method. The magic number method is a lot better for the, uh, the more complicated trinomials. And um, hopefully when you look at that video, you'll, you'll find that one out as well. And you'll find out that that's... Okay, hopefully you got that challenge at the end and hopefully you've really mastered this. Okay, cheers.